Did you know that you can easily export Shopify store data to Tableau using a direct connection but without coding skills? Let me show you how to do that. Install Tableau Connector from the Shopify App Store and go to Apps and select Tableau Connector. You need to create a data source. It's a data selection, which means you need to pick up the fields and tables you wish to have on the Tableau side for your Tableau visuals or reporting. As you see, there is easy navigation on the left side so you can select any tables and fields from each category. Let's select products, for example. I can pick up the fields that I actually need to have on the Tableau side. As you see, there are various tables in the product section, so you can pick up any fields like collections, images, options, price ranges, and more. Name your data source. You can also apply filters. For example, you can pick up the products created on a certain date after or before or within the time frame, or you can filter by the product type, SKU, tag, or any other. I will not be applying any filters, so let's save the connector and get back to the data sources page. Here you can see the data is not ready. I need to prepare it for export. I press the generate button and wait for some time when the application prepares the data I've selected. You will always see the actual status of the data preparation in this part of the data source. We need to wait until the status is ready. The only thing left is to export it to Tableau. You need to copy the data source URL generated by the app and go to your Tableau. Click the data, select all O data feed, and insert the data source URL here. Pick username and password authentication. Copy them from the settings page in the Tableau connector interface. Click sign in. Your data is loaded into Tableau. You can now select any visuals and build anything that you need using your Shopify data. As you see, it is pretty easy. Try it free today. If you want more tips about Tableau Connector or Shopify data export, then make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Check our community for upcoming live streams and webinars.